Dr. Alvaro, you're about to hold a presentation on oral immunotherapy to foods, whether they are ready for clinical practice or not. Could you just summarize um, the main talking points of your lecture? Yes, this will be a pro-con session in which uh, Giovanni Paino, who is uh, also a pediatric allergist, will be speaking about the pros of having this into the clinical practice and I'll be doing the con about having this uh, into the normal clinical practice. I really uh, believe that this procedure uh, should be implemented, but not now, but in the future. This is a very important treatment for our allergic children, food allergic children. Uh, food allergy is increasing. Our children who are food allergic are in a very big hazard of anaphylaxis. So it is very important that we find, find the way to protect them from anaphylaxis. And at the moment, treatment for food allergy is just avoidance of the offending food. But of course, as you may believe this is not really a treatment, this is a lack of treatment. So I really believe that food oral immunotherapy will be very important. It is very important now, but for me under the research umbrella. I think that it is not as well known, the mechanisms and all the problems that we can have with oral immunotherapy. Some children uh, go on very well with this treatment and it is really very important for them. We change their lives, their lives and the family lives, the quality of lives improve very much. But there are some others who are the ones who have the phenotype, the worst phenotype with the worst food allergy, which they have many adverse events during the procedure and we must also protect them from these adverse events. So we should go on investigating this uh, treatment to make it safer for our children. So I really believe that they shouldn't be implemented everywhere but still it has to be under the research umbrella and it is very important that this research goes on so maybe soon we can implement it for every children. Um, are um, OITs um, more affected in certain food groups than in others? Well, at the moment we don't have experience with many, many foods. Uh, the most experienced are uh, egg, milk and peanut. There are also some trials going on with fish, with other uh, food allergies like nut allergies. And so we are ongoing with the research, but the most important now are milk, egg and peanut. Are those three still rising? Are these types of uh, allergies increasing? Yes, they are increasing. They are increasing uh, probably because of changes in our lifestyles. Uh, so it is also very important not to find a proper treatment for, this tre for these children, but also from the prevention point of view, trying to prevent all these allergies. And there are many studies ongoing. We have some very nice results of the introduction of foods, maybe the right time of the introduction of foods will be uh, something very good to prevent food allergy. We are on it too. So we have a lot going on from the uh, pediatric allergy point of view. Um, when you talk about children, um, at what age does uh, oral immunotherapy usually start for them? Well, uh, it is recommended that we start it from the, when they are five to six years old. Uh, because at some of them, when they are allergic, when they are like 12 months old, uh, they can still wait for some years and maybe in a natural way, they will, uh, they will mm, resolve their food allergy immunologically. So 
it is recommended by the IACI guidelines that we start the treatment when they are like five to six years old. But I know that in some centers they are doing some research uh, on oral immunotherapy in children as soon as they are diagnosed. That would be the infant age. Uh, I cannot tell you uh, really um, if this will be uh, the, the thing to follow, but at the moment it's only recommended from five to six years old. And uh, just from a practical point of view, how often do, uh, is, uh, do the children have to consume the um, tablets? Well, it's, it's, it's not tablets, it's the food. Ah, it's the food okay. Yes, the oral immunotherapy usually is with the food they are allergic to. So we start with very low amounts of grains of protein and then we go on rising. This is a very demanding treatment. They have to come to hospital uh, every week or every other week to rise the dose they are having every day at home. They must have it every day at home in certain conditions. They cannot have it and then go and, and play to, in the park. They have to be um, steady at home. And they have to follow. Uh, uh, so it is very demanding. So it's not tablets, it's the food that we are giving to them. So that's, that is this is why this is very important to keep it now under the research umbrella because as we are giving the offending food uh, uh, an adverse event or even an anaphylaxis is not impossible in fact they have a lot of adverse events and this is the way we we must do some research uh, so we can improve these conditions where do you see this type of um, treatment go within the next 10 years? Will there be other ways of uh, making this treatment less demanding or so? Uh, well, there are many research areas which are going on and not only with the food, but with other kind of treatment. Uh, uh, the industry is de developing some other um, treatments. Uh, so I believe that in the next 10 years, this will be uh, much better, not only with this industry developing more products, but also with uh, uh, the, own, the, the, the main food uh, given. If we can find um, the children who are the best uh, to be implemented this therapy, if we can find some biomarkers that tell us uh, which will be the ones who uh, respond better to the treatment or which are the ones who are going to, to have many adverse events, then we will be on the way for uh, improving this treatment. Dr. Ivo, thank you so much for all your interesting insights and have a great congress. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm.